if you haven't uh, actually loaded your car package just call it using the library car functionality then say scatter plot right and in that you have to first pass uh, oh let's scatter plot matrix right that's what we want to use because we want to show this in the matrix format uh, tilde sign and then indicate the variables which you want to use so mpg that is miles per gallon is one variable uh, displacement would be the second one no, it's your choice which you want to keep but i'm keeping these specific variable drat is no, the drive train ratio plus you can have one more that is weight and then you can separate that with the pipe symbol and cylinder which is obviously trying to see from different categorical perspectives and data is equal to empty cars which is already there with you and then you're going to pass the header which is main is equal to say three cylinder options right so that's how you fire it and once you do that you should be getting a nice plot like this right so it's showing you distribution it's showing you the relative relationship between uh, displacement and miles per gallon displacement and also versus d ratio displacement and versus weight and in the center portion as compared to the previous uh, ones it is showing you uh, base is the color so you can see the red the green and all those things so the red is indicating how the distribution is happening for six cylinder engine and the black is for four cylinder engine and the eight uh, that's the green line is showing you for an eight cylinder engine so basically if you just try to see into this these are all subsetted data and accordingly the distributions are changing so when you're looking at relationship between this and this that's how the distribution is changing obviously you need to have some understanding about what is a variable distribution what is an exponential distribution and all those things wherein you need to have a little bit of theoretical knowledge also okay so now we'll just wrap this over here and we'll move to the next aspect so we'll try to understand more about 3d graphs uh, so the only thing is that the dimension changes and that's where we would want to use something which is in three dimensions okay so for this you would require a library called as g class which it has the functionality related to that so first create data so i'm just keeping data in small small parcels so i'm creating different different data frames so i'm saying empty cars is the actual base data from which i want to extract say column number one comma three comma five comma six that's our favorite so i've kept that in dta dta.r is nothing but one more object i'm creating which would be saving the correlations between all of this so i'm saying abs absolute correlations so i'm saying cor why absolute correlation because it could be a negative or a positive i just want the positive aspect cor and then say dta which is already the data frame which you have created right and then you will hit an enter so that is also created dta.cor is just a palette of colors which you would be using so i'm saying d ta.col and i'm saying d mat dot color so it's a palette so i'm saying dta.r right and i'm pressing enter so that gives you the color part and then what you want to do is you want to just reorder the variables so that the ones which have highest correlation are shown in uh, closer to the diagonals and the one which have lower uh, correlations uh, you want to keep them away from the diagonal elements right just to make it more visually appealing for the user so i'm saying dta dot O, so I'm just doing the reordering and I'm saying order dot single where I'm passing DTA dot R as the data itself right and I press an enter now you're supposed to do a pairing of all these things so you say C pairs <coughs> this is the functionality when you're passing a DTA that is the object which has data DTA dot O is the reordered one wherein it's more about keeping elements closer which have higher correlation and then panel dot colors is the attributes and in this you're going to pass the dta dot colors which you have just created and gap that's the distance you're saying is equal to 0.5 so just to have some spacing in between and you're giving a header that main is equal to any topic of your choice but in this case you're specifically saying variables ordered and colored by correlation 
like that's what you're saying and switching it enter. so what you can see now is <coughs> a chart which uh, basically shows you all these variables as a diagonal element and then these are the correlations also which are shown right the ones wherein you see that uh, the variables are highly correlated are closer to the diagonal and the one like for instance this one and this one and obviously this is just a mirror image of each other so the lower half and the upper half are mirror images of each other and this is where you can see that right now you can just go and just close this so that we can go to the next level I'm just wrapping this up okay so now we'll do a couple of more plottings just to get some free hand so i'm saying library scatter plot 3d that's what you will be needing and you already have the empty cars if you don't have then you will say attach empty cars the reason is that you don't want to give the reference name of the object again and again when you're referring to the variables right and then you say scatter plot right and instead of basic scatter plot you say 3d plot and then you say weight comma mpg right or you can say weight comma the asp that's displacement mpg uh, and we'll just wrap this with the title as main is equal to 3d plot right. so that's how your 3d plot is getting created obviously it's difficult to read a 3d plot because the human eye can usually analyze and understand and interpret two dimensions and not beyond that but still if business needs you to show it in that way you can obviously use these kinds of plots okay now going ahead if you want to still add some more functionality that that means if you want to see actually where these dots are getting connected on the plane right that's where you will just tweak this a little bit so you will just do a scatter plot and use something like pch is equal to 16 highlight dot 3d is equal to true and type is equal to horizontal that will connect these dots on the lower plane right so you can do that also so uh, you can say a scatter so obviously you're going to write this plot again scatter plot 3d and in this case you're saying weight and then say displacement and say for instance mpg the only change you're going to make is a, you're specifying the pch that is what kind of symbol you want right and you're making it 16 right and you can have anything of your choice you can even mention 21 and highlight dot 3d is equal to true so that it should be highlighted and you're saying type is equal to h that means it will draw a horizontal line from where the data is connecting on the hyperplane closer to the x and the y intersection axis and you say main is equal to again a 3d scatter plot right so that's how you can see it now so the dots are there but these are getting connected on the base plane so this makes it uh, more easier to interpret them as compared to the previous output okay right so we'll go ahead okay so now how about uh, uh, doing uh, the coloring on these so some more things to be added some flavor right and trying to create a plane right over here so can we think about something like a hyperplane which is nothing but like a regression line also which could be in the form of a plane which passes through this data yes we can do that also so we're just going to create an object sg3 wherein i'm saying scatter plot 3d right i'm going to use the same parameters of weight displacement and mpg miles per gallon and i'm saying that pch is equal to 16 so i'm just keeping it as 16 and highlight is highlight dot 3d so highlight dot 3d is equal to true okay mm. yeah and again a comma wherein you are saying okay uh, type is equal to h which is the same as the previous one so it will draw a horizontal line connecting on the base object and main is equal to 3d scatter plot beyond that we are going to make some changes 
right and what the changes are we are going to use uh, something like a line fit which is going to sit over this so first we'll draw this okay uh, it needs an additional package rgl okay uh, okay but the plot is there uh, you can perhaps try to load the rgl package also and then you can say fit uh, the fit is uh, what, equal, what plane you're creating but you're trying to show it in a form of a plane right it's a regression line only tilde and you can say weight plus say displacement right and s3d which is already an object on which you're saying plane 3D. I have a doubt that this might not run because of that error of RGL, but let's try. Mm. Okay, we have used is D3M. It's a reason. Uh, if we try loading, if it's feasible. this whole thing again so I'm saying STM okay so this is how you should be seeing it now right okay fine so that's about a uh, 3d scatter plot but if sometimes uh, although you don't prefer doing that in r but if you want to have something which is a, like an interactive chart you might want to do interactive charts and for that you will require a different set of package called as i plots so you'll have to load that first so i plots this would be the package which you would be using so uh, the way you call is like uh, IPCP that is interactive plots and in that you can say empty cars right so data so you will see a Java thing opening up over here Let me just so you can just make these changes you can keep on dynamically changing all of this okay i want to change the paint so i can do that also it becomes very interactive see clear color only selected cases so we can do that also and you can save it as a separate png file okay so i'm just closing this part okay now um uh, similarly if you want you can create a new object called as m m cars say my cars wherein you might want to save something like this my cars data dot frame in which you might say that c bind that's column bind and in c bind you're saying that empty cars dollar say cylinder it's one data column and you can have empty cars dollar something like crb like the c carburetor and then you can have you can have the gearing aspect also so empty cars 
dollar gear so you're keeping all these things in the new data called my cars and then you can have a mosaic plot of this say my mosaic and in that you can pass the whole object empty cars so you should be getting something like this again you can keep on changing these things as per your requirement So all these functionalities are available, you need to use this interactively, right? And if you want multiple interactive charts, right? So you can again use the same package, iPlots, and in that you can have something called as iBar, in which you can say the empty cars dollar, say MPG is one such thing, right? just closing this and you can have i box and in this you can say empty cars dollar displacement one of the parameters empty cars dollar curve and empty cars dollar say cylinder which you can this also sort by count all these functionalities are available right okay so with this we'll end with the graphing option